Probably the youngest one here, so obviously we have the chairman of the board, director, CEO, and I'm only economist slash TV broadcast journalist, but hopefully I still have a long uh, career ahead. So what I'm going to do today is probably just focus on um, how Reseba helped me to achieve what I was able to achieve till today. Now, first of all, I'm a strong believer in uh, education, and I think that's probably the most important uh, investment decision that one will have to make. And maybe it will sound a bit cheesy, but uh, I think selecting where I see but was probably uh, the best decision that I could have made. So why is that? Now, probably some of my responsibilities that I do, I um, conduct interviews with a variety of experts. So starting from uh, leading economists here in Riga, up to, um, let's say, president of the Latvian Association of Commercial Banks. And today we also did a very interesting interview with a board member from the uh, Finance and Capital uh, Market uh, uh, Commission. So a lot of, a lot of uh, experts. And in order to be able to successfully interview people, you have to have solid communication skills and listening skills. So, and special gratitude, I think, I have to give to Elena Maliashka. <laughs> With a little bit of applause. <laughs> the distinct expertise of this woman has actually enabled me to structure my nonsense that I used to say in a coherent and logical manner. So, and I think none of the graduates that actually finish right, see, and finish the European Business Program would be able to correctly uh, finish two sentences without any mistakes if it wasn't for this wonderful woman. So, many thanks to her. I also do remember Polina on the very first lecture that we had was the uh, principles of marketing. And in the very first five minutes, this woman terrified me <laughs> in a good way because I remember the level of discipline that she taught us. She said that if you want to be on time, you have to be in time. So you always have to be five minutes uh, in advance. So this is also one of the most important lessons that you will definitely need no matter what career path you choose, not only in studying, so Polina was a tremendous help in uh, building the discipline and making sure that uh, we knew how to do things right. Uh, another important thing that uh, was ac what's actually interesting is that I never thought that I would be working in the field of uh, economics and finance, and if I did, perhaps I would have paid uh, a lot more attention to my courses in economics and finance, which could have made my life a little bit easier when I started working at Dukas Copy, because uh, you have to talk about various topics. You always have to be, you have to stay informed about the latest economic developments, top headlines, what's going on uh, in Europe, in the United States, what's happening in the Eurozone. Uh, why, who said, uh, why did Mario Draghi say this and how does it impact the financial market? So the uh, topics are considerably wide and you have to be able to know how to ask questions and how to ask them in a proper manner. So this is also again something that uh, Lena Maneshko was able to teach us how to ask the right questions. So all of these skills were able to um, as they prepare me for the work that I do today. And uh, probably one of the highlights that I had was the most distinct moments of my little career so far was that when we were able to attend the Euro conference that was attended by Mario Draghi, the president of the European Central Bank, Andres Vilks, our finance minister, Ilmar Sorcevic, president of uh, Bank of Latvia, and as well only Green, vice president of the European Commission. So that was probably one of the highlights of my career so far, when you're able to do a conference and also a press conference and ask a question to people who actually make things happen. So whenever, let's say, Mario Draghi says, oh, I will do whatever it takes to preserve the euro, something actually happens in the financial market. So it's very always interesting to be able to ask something to a person who is in power to change something. So these were actually all of the skills that enabled me and uh, the helped me to achieve what I have till today. And hopefully, it will also help me when I, uh, next, next couple of weeks, we have scheduled an interview with our education minister, which is Adam Roski, who is going to talk about the youth unemployment. So again, something very interesting and hopefully more milestones and, uh, in my career are ahead. So I have to thank Raisi for helping me achieve uh, so far. Thank you. Thank you, Gita.